I want it to go left because I want to interact with these pedestrians. Yes, it's going to do it. Okay. Look at that. Acting like a true Detroit driver. Well, you waited too long, buddy. That was like next level AI. Holy crap. That was really good. Like, that was really, really good. And the system pulling over nicely. Great. Fantastic. Okay, so let's... Uh, the system's freaking out because I shut off the navigation point And it's like, why'd you do that? So, um, I like these, like, middle of downtown streets. Because they get really... Uh, they get really spicy. Lots of people. The yoke is slowly turning. Okay. The car is playing with the brake. It can go on red. I don't see a sign for that. Okay, so it's gonna go right. Waiting for the pedestrian. The dude's on his phone, he's not noticing. But look at the car, anticipating their movements nicely, but also keeping a human-like behavior, right? Where it's like, okay, I'm telling the people behind me, like, I'm going, but the dude's on his phone, and I'm trying to be like human-like, and the person behind us has no idea that, you know what I mean? This is an AI driving, right? So that was great. The previous version did that as well, but it was kind of like, uh, scary, <laughs> you know? So that was, uh, that was interesting. I like that. And as a reminder, for those of you watching,